Hey everybody, Sam Kabaris in the Nimnik Chevrolet video sports update. What a Masters, what a final, what a finish, and uh, how interesting it was that two guys who were very good friends who played in international competitions against each other make it into a playoff. Just some really good golf. Obviously, down the stretch, Jason Day even said afterwards that the pressure got to him a little bit. Adam Scott was able to execute the shots, but again, all, all the way until 18, didn't make a single putt that you thought was makeable and that he might make along the way, but he makes the putt on 18, and for a split second thought he'd won the Masters. And then Cabrera just stuffs it in there right behind him to force the playoff. They go uh, back to you know 18 and then 10, and, and I just was so impressed with Cabrera giving him the thumbs up as they walk down the 10th fairway after Adam Scott hit that shot in there. And then the reaction of everybody on the green when Adam Scott rolled in that 12-footer to win his first green jacket. Uh, Cabrera with a big hug for him, obviously. Stevie with a big hug for him. And, uh, you know, to win it as the first Australian, I'm sure, is just, based on the kind of sporting nation that they are, is just an unbelievable feeling for Adam Scott. He is really one of the good guys uh, in professional sports. Uh, I've always thought that when he won here in 2004, just couldn't have been more pleasant. Uh, he hasn't changed much over the years, except when you see him make the winning putt here, he's putting with a conventional putter. And of course, when he wins the Masters, he's putting with that, uh, that broomstick. Nonetheless, it might be at 32 years old, the thing that catapults him to even greater things now that he's finally won his first major championship. Think about this just for a second, and I don't know if anybody else has told you this. When Adam Scott missed those four shots coming down the stretch at the Open last year, when Ernie Els won, almost everyone was left. When he had to make a shot, he had it left. When he hit the six iron at TPC in 2004, where'd he miss it? Left. And when he hit his opening drive on 18, uh, before he made that putt, the final drive in regulation, where'd he miss it? Left. It's, there's something going on that hopefully his teacher will talk to him about that under pressure he has a tendency to just yank that thing a little bit left and um, boy I tell you what he ripped it down the middle on both 10 and 18 in the playoff though very impressive and Cabrera with an iron off the tee who, who does that and still is able to knock it on and almost make the putt himself so congratulations to Adam Scott and all of Australia apparently so for uh, his first Masters championship. Tragedy at the Boston Marathon, obviously, uh, that's still an ongoing investigation. Some sort of terrorist coordinated attack that um, kill, has killed now at least three people and injured many, many more. Um, you know, regrettably, this is the, um, a fact of life that we live with now, having covered sporting events all over the world, the Olympics, uh, you name it, I mean, in, in and out of the country. The kind of security that is necessary just to keep uh, just the, the run of the mill kind of criminal uh, out of the way is pretty intense. But it does show that large gatherings of people for a sporting event, for anybody with bad intentions, are in fact an inviting and in many cases a very soft target. You can't protect everybody all the time and uh, regrettably it's just something that we'll have to live with and be vigilant about. If you, As they say, if you see something, say something. I'm Sam Kavaris, and that's the Nimnik Chevrolet video sports update.